Even with all the recent enhancements to our cameras, changing modes can be a huge pain in the butt. Swipe, swipe, tap, 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 swipe, 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 tap, tap, tap. Boy, that's a lot of swiping and the tapping. Sure was. Hey. Well, what if I told you that we've come up with a way to make changing camera modes as easy as pointing your GoPro at a QR code? As you can see, it's great. Sure is, Vadim. Now here's an upsettingly handsome Englishman with an eloquent accent to show you how it works. The utter beauty of the system lies in its simplicity. Fancy, that's enough of that. You see, we've created offline camera control, allowing users to create and control settings without wasting the time and battery life consumed when connecting your camera to your phone. This is taking forever. I just wish there was a faster way to do this. With offline camera control, users can enter any settings they want, no matter how complex, and it'll generate a QR code. And then you just show that code to your GoPro. Wow, that was fast and convenient. Yes, it was. You can also save your favorite QR codes to your favorites library and quickly recall them for future use. <laughs> Thank you for not exploring my phone. Oh man. We've modified the GoPro's firmware to recognize and generate QR codes which allows us to do a lot of really cool stuff. David, show us something cool. GoPro, video mode. Very cool. Now can you do that with like, a whole butt ton of cameras? We could do that. I'm impressed. We've also stored the QR data inside the file's metadata itself. So for example, if you wanted to find out how the latest photo of the day was taken, you can do that. With offline camera control, we're making the world a better place through visual QR code recognition and expanded camera capability. You, you can, can do that. that! How much time do you think we have left in the video?